You've left Derby County to go to DC United. Was this motivated by money, Wayne? Yeah, it look, in, I've got to say now this this decision was not about um, was not about money. Um, I've took a massive pay cut from five hundred grand a year with County Derby right down to five million pounds a year uh, with DC United. So you know, enough said. It's a massive pay cut. Um, Wayne, you have worked here before. What kind of challenges do you think you will face? as the new manager of DC United. Yeah, look, it's always very difficult um, going to a, another country in Europe, as, as I'm doing now, and it's very difficult, but, um, you know, the thing for me is, um, the, the tough thing for me is obviously the language barrier. That's very difficult. Um, but I think that I'll get there. Um, I'll be practising my American and, you know, also practising my English as well, which I'm, I'm getting better with, so. And Wayne, I'd just love to ask this question. You know, why have you decided to return to the USA? Yet again, it's just more lies from the media. I'm, I'm sick of it now. Um, you know, I'm not I, I'm not going to the USA. Um, I'm going to America, and this is what people need to understand. Yet again, the media just create lies. I'm not going to the USA. I'm actually going to America. So, yet again, they're just reporting more lies. Um, and when, what is the ultimate dream for you as a manager? Where do you want to end up? Yeah, I think the dream is to wake me way up um, to the to the Manchester United job. Look, I've done County Derby, now DC United, um, then Everton, and then I'll go wake me way up to uh, Harchester United, uh, Kidderminster Harriers, um, and then Man United. Yeah, and I could even go bigger than that and end up part of this also. Yeah. A lot of speculation your family didn't settle last time, Wayne. Do you think they'll settle this time around? Yeah, look, it's, for me, I've got to make sure that, because uh, there'll be a lot of boredom, so I've got to make sure that uh, they're looked after and they've you know, got plenty to do. So I'm going to take loads of colouring books and um, crayons and wrestling figures and, and you know I'll make sure to take some stuff for the kids as well. And,